Hi, it's Kevin Goatee here. That's right, but welcome more importantly to the Homemade Sketch Show. That's right, it's time. It's Friday at 6 o'clock. Here we are, and we are live. Just kidding, we're not live. We're very far away from each other because, you know, coves. Is that something the kids are using now, the coves? Can I try and start that off? Let me know if it takes. Anyway, I'm Kevin Goatee. I'm your host today. And I want you to check out my podcast after, of course, The Homemade Sketch Show. My podcast is called Gutting the Sacred Cow. What is Gutting the Sacred Cow? It's a film podcast. Hold on. Give me a second. That's different than any other one. Why? Here's how. We invite guests to come on and pick a film that they absolutely hate or find overrated. And they're going to try and convince us to see their arguments. But here's the twist. The film must meet one of these requirements. Financial success, widely beloved, or critically acclaimed. So that means you can't come in and try and think you're going to take down Friday the 13th Part 8. We know that's a stinking, flaming piece of shit. So no, we want you to see, come on, we want you to have grander aspirations. Come after films like Gone with the Wind, or Star Wars, or Pulp Fiction, or Big Lebowski, The Shining, stuff like that. Guttingthesacredcow.com has... All the links to all of your podcast platforms of choice, including YouTube. We also have a merch shop. Come check out and hold, hold on a second. What's this? Oh, boom. Gutting the Sacred Cow t-shirts. That's cool. We've got shirts, bags, hats, whatever. All of it's there. Give it a looky-loo. And of course, every day on guttingthesacredcow.com, we have movie blogs. Blogs, uh, articles where we've written stuff like, you know, article uh, sequels we asked for or never wanted. Movie news, movies that we've seen, or our favorite, the list of 10, the hashtag list of 10. Every day on guttingthesacredcow.com. And in fact, here's how I know you're going to like it. Because I picked two clips that I know you're going to love. Here's clip number one. Take a look. And of course, the last one's always my favorite, Kevin. Ready? Bought this for my stepfather, who is a negative person. Probably is a good movie to watch. I don't care for him. That's why I'm giving this product a one star. P.S. He's a terrible kisser. What? I just made, what the, no, I, I just made, no, I made the last part up. That last is me. <laughs> I was like, we need to call the authorities immediately. Ah, ah, what did you think? That was pretty cool, right? That's funny stuff. All right, ready? Clip number two and action. Why is it every time in a film that a president orders a nuclear strike, they always end with, may God have mercy on their souls? Because I bet when Harry that Truman, thank you. I bet when Harry Truman do dropped two nukes on Japan, he had a way better catchphrase. Something like, Hibachi table for seven million coming right up. <laughs> I got to see hope he just yelled out, "Got him!" <laughs> Before you sunk my battleship. That's good stuff too, right? And that was my slinky. It's a black slinky, unlike any other colored slinky you've ever seen, right? Cool. Enough nonsense. Let's get on with it. Ready? Homemade sketch show. Take it away. How's the lighting? Do I look like Meg Ryan? Tell me I look like Meg Ryan when I'm on film. Is it on? No, seriously. Don't joke with me. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Arlene Hershkovitz. I got to sell some stuff. No, we're selling the trains. You don't play with them. You're not five. Hi. I, we got, you want trains and tracks? We got them. Um, we'll sell them to you. Okay? What's this? What, there's a piece of orange tape on it. How am I supposed to know what it is? Oh, God, it's more tracks. We got more tracks if you want them. God, how many of these? Chauncey, you're 34 years old. You live with your mother. Okay? And it's fine. I'm fine with that. Selling it. Okay? Your father's not in the picture anymore. Bear of monkeys. Selling it. I'm selling a lot of good stuff. I'm not happy about this either. Sold. So, ooh, look at that color. I'm keeping that. How did this get in here? Listen, the 600 a week is gone. Oh God, this reminds me of your father. He was so hairy. I'm not, I'm not selling that. Okay. Oh God, this reminds me of his mother. If you got kids, they're gonna love it. Look, okay, fine. No, I'll sell some of my stuff. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Look, sell it. Yeah, I took this stuff out. I don't need the box. Okay, let's get serious. Mommy, son, talking time. We can either keep the trains and tracks or your Star Wars memorabilia. That's just the way it is, right? <gasps> this is adorable. No, selling it. What, 
it's more tracks. How many of these do you have? So, this is where my oversized basket went. I'm keeping this. That's, that's fun. Ooh, it goes the other side. No, we're getting rid of that. Oh God, it's more tracks. Look at that. We don't need this anymore. I'm putting it out. I'm not even gonna sell it. This Give me the shirt. Give me the, good, I'm selling it. Saturday, yard sale, my house. Do you like video games? Do you like playing video games? Well, then we have to sell some stuff. I'm even selling this. I don't fit in it anymore. Wish I did. Mm. It's those chips. Yard sale, Saturday, wear a mask. Especially you, Denise. Ugh, anti-vaxxer. Okay, so you splice it together, all right? And then we'll put a little ad on Facebook and, you know. Here, this is the ending, this is the tag. I'm Arlene, I'm selling stuff, okay? Hi, people from the East and West Coast. Welcome to Kansas. That's right, you're in Kansas. That flyover state you always imagined to be just wheat, sunflowers, buffalo, farmers, and twisters. Well, guess what? You were definitely right. Hi, I'm Gabby. I grew up in Kansas, so this is my house, just like Dorothy Gale. <laughs> hey, I swear we've seen your house in a few other sketches. Isn't that your house? No, those were fakes. These are my cows. <laughs> that's Frank. That's also Frank. And that's Frank. You know uh, that all cows are girls, right? Oh, all, all cows are girls? Well, I, I knew that. They're, they're, all, they're all named Bessie, actually. And in Kansas, our favorite activity is cow tipping. Here's a, a tip. Oh, these are my chickens. Hi, chickens. And of course, we drive our lawnmowers to school. The, uh, here we go. You have to turn the key before you turn it on. Of course I knew you had to turn the key on. This is my school where I went to school. Uh, we, just, we went in that door and yeah, I went to school here. Did you go to the bathroom in the outdoor latrine? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we didn't, the, the, yeah, that was our bathroom, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this your school? Ignore those pictures. This, this is where I went to school. K through 12, just 12 kids. <laughs> we also make our own clothes. Uh. See? I made this shirt. There's an anthropology tag on that shirt. Oh, no, there's not. I made this. And we make all our own food. Look, the bread bush is ready. Come check it out. Gabby, bread doesn't grow in bushes. You should at least know that. How would you know? You don't live in Kansas. Kansas. We are not a southern state. Hi. Hi everybody, I'm Radthad, at Radthad on um, Instagram, TikTok, um, yeah, all the things. I'm not using Snapchat anymore. I was um, banned. But that's not the point. I just wanted to get online tonight because, well, the power's out everywhere. And it's, well, it's so hot. It's re really, really hot. And and I'm, I'm by myself because my parents went to Palm Springs a couple weeks ago and I haven't come back and so I'm you well right now I'm using my lightsaber for light but if a bad guy comes and it's dead then I won't have it to fight them with um that's about it I just wanted to check in with everybody because it's not like I'm scared or anything we're not scared right we're not scared are you scared <laughs> me neither we're not scared it is really hot though I did hear some noises. Um, so if you see my mom and dad out there, can you tell them that's sad? Sorry, at Radsad. Because that's what I want to be called by everybody. It's my whole thing is at Radsad. But if you see them, will you tell them that at Radsad is sad? Because he misses them. And I think this is possibly the Armageddon's. Yeah, I think our planet is burning and I think I'm... I think I want my mom and dad. So that's it. 
Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, everybody. Next time, I'll do backflips into the pool unsuccessfully. If we survive. Okay, guys. So, this is at Brad said, Charlie, and Dusseldorf signing off. Good luck. I know. I miss them, too. We should turn, don't turn this off because of the power. Oh, man. It's really dark. Hey everyone, I had a really, really awesome summer because this summer I got to spend it all with my sister who said she'd rather be watching RuPaul's Drag Race than me, but we're gonna have a little fun with this. So what she did was she created the best camp ever. It was called Queen Camp. And she told me that I would upgrade from being a basic B word that I can't say into a queen. Each week I had a different challenge to participate in. The first week was the looks challenge. Now, instead of sewing, because I'm only seven, <laughs> I had to draw two looks inspired by RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, I thought my first look was actually pretty special. Right? A teacup. It was perfect, because on the show, they're always saying, what's the tea, girl? Spill the tea. My sister said that this was pretty basic. So she was really looking forward to my next look. I know, right? Huge, huge. She said it was obvious that this was obviously the representation of throwing shade. She loved the attention to details in the trunk. The leaves were perfect. It was drawn perfectly and beautifully. And I got so excited because my sister gave me tens, tens, tens across the board for this look. Of course she said I had to do some reading, which normally I can't stand reading, it's so boring, but she said no, you're gonna read like the queens. So what I did was I called up my friend Ben on FaceTime and I read him. I was like, hey Ben, why are you always wearing that red shirt with the black backpack? You trying to be a Power Ranger or something? <laughs> and then Ben actually read me back. He said, Alexis, why are you always wearing bandanas? Is it because your edges are nappy? Oh, oh, shade! But I loved it. Of course, on the reading challenge, 8.5 out of 10. In order for me to win the $5 cash prize, I had to elevate. Now, on the show, the queens usually make a song. But my sister told me, you don't have to make a song. I want you to make a hand clap game. So, I made up this. Miss Ben G, 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 she's not top three, 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 but that's all right, right, right. She made top five, 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 and she came back, back, back after season nine, 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 and now she's in Vegas with RuPaul Live, Live, Live. <laughs> and my sister said, beautiful execution. Picking Vanjie was amazing because she's a fan favorite. Anything Vanjie touches turns to gold. The fans love her. So nine, nine, nines across the board. It was awesome. I loved Queen Camp. And of course, last but not least, I had to do a walking challenge. I'm going to show you my walk. Here we go. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Because on RuPaul's Drag Race, all of the queens have to enter with an introduction. So, my sister and I worked on this for a really long time, and we finally got the perfect take. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Alexis Diamond. I'm seven years old from Edison, New Jersey, and I'm here to upgrade from a princess to a queen. Watch out, world, because I'm here to snatch that crown. <laughs> Yay! Best summer ever because I upgraded from a princess to a queen. Wow, what a show we're having today, right? Wow, what a blast. But now we're going to take that to a, from about a, an eight and a half to about a nine and one quarter because now it's time for our musical guest and his name is Joel Landy. And the song he's going to do today is You Don't Love Me Anymore. Why not, Joel? How many afternoons did we spend together in Borders Bookshop? 
I know, years ago, but still, I didn't forget. How many afternoons did we spend in Borders Bookshop just hanging out, talking literature, and now you don't love me anymore after all that? After I sat through all those countless hours of watching you play your guitar and listening to you talk about your love of fudge stripe cookies. It just hurts, Joel. It just hurts. It's four thirty in the morning, and I am not even yawning. Soon the sun it will be dawning to begin another day. Would be healthy to be snoozing, but I think of what I am losing. It's not what you'd be choosing, but love don't work that way, and it's hard to be here with my heart in the wrong place, it's hard to know what love is for, harder still when you don't love me anymore. said the world is turning so the lessons we are learning would someday be returning make us stronger in our goal now I don't have your insight but I believe that you were right so why do I have visions of a man without a soul and it's hard to be here with my heart in the wrong place it's hard to know what love is for and it's hard to be here when i'm missing your embrace harder still when you don't love me anymore you know i used to be a fighter and the stars seem so much brighter when i pull one more all-nighter do my work and earn my pay but now i'm feeling like a stranger in my room is there a danger feeling so profound and useless ever since you went away and it's hard to be here with my heart in the wrong place it's hard to know what love is for and it's hard to be here when I want to see your face Harder still when you don't love me anymore Harder still when you don't love me I wish that you still love me Harder still when you don't love me That's cool, Mom. It's so good catching up with you especially considering we can't see each other now. I really miss you. I miss you too, Chels. I'm heading to the pool in a bit, so I gotta get ready. Yeah, me too. My lunch break is about to be over. What did you have for lunch today? Avocado toast, nothing crazy. Before I forget, 
that reminds me, just FYIing, I got the best recipe for guacamole. Cool. Text it to me. I gotta get back to work. Will do. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, we had the best guacamole at this new restaurant in my neighborhood recently. I miss going to restaurants. <laughs> And then they send you a coupon. Cool. So I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yes. But don't call too early. Don't call before 11. What's happening before 11? Your father has a doctor's appointment. Is everything okay? Well, remember when he had that spot on his face? Mom, when were you going to the pool? Now. We're going now. We have Sheila, let's go. Oh, we Dad, to leave. Oh, Dad, I forgot to tell you, I saw that movie we were talking about the other day. It was just a dream. I can't believe it ended like that. It was crazy. Oh, crap. I need to finish these emails before this meeting. I should really go. What was that you said? Your computer froze. Can you hear me now? Now? Dad, Dad, I can't, I can't hear you. It, it froze again. No, nope. let me check my connection. So my boss is giving me this sting eye. I love you guys. I really gotta go. Sheila, do you see the sky? I don't think we're going to the pool after all. Oh, honey, look, it looks, it looks torrential out there. <sighs> honey, I don't think we're going anywhere. Oh, honey, before, before I forget, before, before you go, before, before you go, uh, just FYIing, don't forget to check that email I sent you. Oh, when did you send it? Bye guys, love you. Love you. <gasps> love you. Bye. Bye. Chelsea, honey, how, how, how do you turn this thing off? So, um, I'm taking the train. I'm taking the train for the first time in like months. I'm nervous, guys. Making my way uptown on the train, and I'm hoping it's real clean. Do -do 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 There's like no one here, no one. And so I don't know if that means it looks cleaner or if it's just empty, but empty, but. Empty. Showtime, showtime. Look what I can do, look what I can do. Empty, but. I can man spread anywhere. Anywhere. I can play like I'm getting off the train and forgetting all my stuff. Fooled ya! <laughs> Anybody getting on? No? Oh, okay. It's a great place to stretch. Terrible place for showtime. Really, no money. Well, that wasn't difficult at all. You know, I had a good time. So, thumbs up to the subway. Hello there. It's Jacinda. No need to say my surname, 
I'm known to the world on a first name basis, much like Madonna or Cher. Simply say Jacinda, the whole world knows you're referring to the wonderful Prime Minister of New Zealand. I'm running for re-election this year. I know it's hard to believe there's another election other than the one in the United States. And just in case being a sensible, wonderful leader who's been essential to overcoming COVID isn't enough for you to vote for me, I thought I'd list some of my other better qualities to remind you why a vote for Jacinda is the best vote. First of all, thanks to my effective leadership, we have seen an unprecedented number of applications for New Zealand citizenship, most of them being Americans applying for refugee status. Second, I'm probably the friendliest politician you'll ever meet. Look no further than my Instagram to see just how down to earth I am. I even established diplomatic ties with the Easter Bunny to be certain he would still come despite the pandemic. And please, rest assured, I've also spoken with Santa and the Tooth Fairy. Third, I've proven to be a true badass when it comes to combating COVID, doing what is essential to protect the people. Some say go big or go home. I say don't let it get big and stay home. And finally, I'm a woman and we've proven we can be much better leaders especially in times of crisis. If I had a mic, I would drop it. So vote for Jacinda. My record speaks for itself. And in case that isn't enough for you, just look up a video of me singing Bohemian Rhapsody with Stephen Colbert. Wow, I can't believe we are at the end of the show. What a show. That stuff was better than you've seen. That's, that's anything that's been on Comedy Central in the last year, right? Easily. But listen, thank you so much for joining us on tonight's episode of The Homemade Sketch Show. Tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern for a brand new show. And of course, the obligatory social media ask. Please like and comment and share to show us love and subscribe to never miss an episode. It really does help with the algorithm. It sounds corny. I know from doing my podcast, Getting the Sacred Cow, I'm always asking people for that. So just a like and a share if you like what you saw tonight. Just That really does go a long way. Thank you so very much. And if you did enjoy the show, please click the link below. Make a donation to the platform group, group because all the contributions go directly to the creators of the show tonight. It helps out. It helps keep the lights on, as we say in the biz. Most opportunities for performers are shut down because of the pandemic, and there's no better time to support artists than right now. All, all amounts, no matter how big or small, but at least try and keep it above a dollar. I don't want to deal with pocket change. That's kind of you, but try and make it at least a dollar. They go a long way, and it really does help. Thank you so much, very much again for watching The Homemade Sketch Show. That's our show. Good night. See you next week. Later.